The two best enrollment process ensures that students have more equity and opportunity to enroll in required pre-major, major, and GE courses. For first pass, students can enroll in up to 11.5 units. Students have 48 hours after their first pass enrollment time to enroll in courses during their first pass. Waitlisting courses is not allowed during first pass enrollment. Students that do not enroll in their first pass will have to wait until their second pass to begin enrolling it in courses. Second pass enrollment. Students can enroll up to 19.5 units during their second pass, including waitlisted courses. Marshall College recommends enrolling in at least 12 units prior to waitlisting courses. Students can enroll in more than 19.5 units on the first day of instruction during the quarter. WebRedge is our online web registration system that allows you to plan, enroll, waitlist, and drop courses. After you have logged into WebRedge, you can start by selecting the quarter and year you would want to search for courses, and then you can search for courses. Once you have found a course through the search function, you can plan a course by selecting the plan button, which it will then add to your plan schedule, such as seen at the bottom of the screen. Planning does not mean enrolling in a course, so you would still need to select the button. So to enroll in courses, you would select the enroll button. Once you've enrolled in the course, it will be highlighted in the blue as seen at the bottom of the screen. Also, if a course is full, you are able to select a waitlist button to add your name to the waitlist. Lastly, you are able to drop courses and change grading options in WebRidge once you've enrolled in the course. Select the drop button to drop the course and then the change button to change the grading option. If you want to enroll in a course or section that is full, you can put yourself on a waitlist. Being on a waitlist does not guarantee that you will actually be added into the class. In many cases, a student that is already enrolled in the class will need to drop the course in order for students in the waitlist to move up and into the course as space allows. You cannot waitlist during first pass enrollment. As of second pass, you can be enrolled in and waitlisted for a total of 19.5 units. Two waitlists log into WebRedge, then search the course and click the waitlist button next to the course and section that you would like to add that is full. You will then be added to the waitlist. Marshall College recommends enrolling in at least 12 units prior to waitlisting courses. The last run of the auto waitlist program is Thursday of the second full week of classes. If you do enter into the course off the waitlist, you will be sent an email notifying you of your enrollment into the course. If there are any questions regarding the waitlist for a specific course, please contact the department the course is in.